Hello and welcome to this episode of the Apogee Accelerator series. In this video, we'll be demonstrating how to implement a basic API consumption limit using Apogee's built-in quota policy. Apogee's quota policy allows you to easily set API consumption limits for client applications. Imagine you'd like to set up a quota to limit the number of calls to your API over a given interval, for example, per minute, per hour, or per day. You may want to only allow a set number of API calls during that time period and disallow anything over the limit. You can implement this using Apogee's quota policy. Apogee allows you to set the quota to be the same for all consumers, or you can set dynamic quotas based on the API product containing a proxy, the specific app that makes the request, the app developer, or many other criteria. Here, we'll show how to enforce a dynamic quota defined by the API product. We'll create two products with different quotas to demonstrate how different consumption tiers can be configured for the same API. Let's begin. In order to run this sample, you'll need the following. An Apogee X instance provisioned with access configured for external traffic. As a user, you'll need permissions to deploy API proxies, create API products, and register developers and applications. This can be granted through the Apogee org admin role or the API and developer admin roles. To deploy this sample, you'll also need the command line tools shown here. If you're using Google Cloud Shell, these are already installed. We've included a Google Cloud Shell tutorial, which you can simply click to quickly get started. Now that you're in the Cloud Shell environment, you can follow along with the step-by-step -step instructions. First, make sure you're logged in with the right account. Then change to the directory for this sample. To deploy the sample, first open up the env.sh file and set the configuration to reference your Apogee project, environment, and the external hostname. Next, run the included script to deploy the sample to your Apogee instance. This might take a minute to complete. When the script completes, you should see a message showing the API proxy URL and two API keys. The two API keys represent two applications subscribed to the two different API products, which each have different quotas. You'll use these keys to test the quota behavior. Now run the curl command with the first API key several times. Notice how the values in the output update to reflect the quota counter on each request. On the 11th call, the response returns an HTTP 429 status code, which indicates the quota has been exceeded. The proxy also returns a customized response body containing more detail about the error. Next, try the request using the second API key. This time, notice the newer, larger value in the allowed field in the response payload. This value reflects the larger quota allowed by the second API product. Now you've seen the policy in action, let's look at how this is configured in Apogee. In a new tab, open the Apogee management UI at apogee.google.com. Under the API proxy section, you should see the basic quota proxy. Select the proxy and go to the develop tab. You'll see several policies defined. First, the verify API key policy checks for the presence of a valid API key that corresponds to a registered application. The quota policy is configured to check against the quota limit an interval defined in the API product used by the caller. The applicable API product information is supplied by the verify API key policy in a set of flow variables. Under the API product section, you'll see two different API product definitions. The first is a trial product which has a quota set to 10 requests per minute. The first application you tested is subscribed to this product and you can see that app listed at the bottom. The second product is a premium version of the API which allows 1000 requests per hour. The second application you tested is subscribed to this product and therefore it's allowed to make more requests. This simple example shows how you can easily allow different levels of consumption for different sets of API subscribers. When you're done with the sample, you can provide us with your feedback, 
and then you can use the cleanup script to delete the configuration that was deployed to your Apogee org. We hope you found this sample useful and if you enjoyed the video please hit the like button below. You can also subscribe to our channel to see more videos in the Apogee Accelerator series. If you have questions please post them on the Apogee community. Thanks for watching.